So this will be my watching the world burn <laughs> video too. Oh my goodness, I tell you, I, I, uh, I went for a hike yesterday and uh, I wanted to push my body to the extreme limits and I did. And I didn't have my cell phone along. I'm going to have to start realizing my limitations with a broken neck. Um, and uh, just just an FYI, obviously, I made it back to the car, but <laughs> I, was, I was struggling, moving my point zero zero one miles an hour as I crawled back to the car and uh, made it home. And then I slept literally uh, almost 12 hours, which is great. I mean, uh, that, that means that my body is... It's healing, and uh, I'm, I'm coming back, and I, I do want to get out into the world and travel, and I've got everything that I need, um, but it was mainly about consolid uh, consolidating my home base, which is I'm, I'm pretty much done with. Um, you know, I'm still building the uh, home creator environment, and I'll get more sophisticated on these videos eventually. Uh, but I just wanted to talk about world events just real quick, uh, and, and it's amazing. I'm getting most of my really good information from gay people <laughs> you know and, and you know i'm I, i'm not gay you know i mean but that's okay i love glenn greenwald i think he's a great human being i love uh, the reuben report uh, glenn greenwald by the way he has a new channel on uh, rumble and uh, you ought to check it out uh, he's he's uh, he's getting out a lot of good information and uh, of course the reuben report uh, he's amazing um, both gay dudes. Well, imagine that. Oh my God, Kirk, you must be a racist. <laughs> oh, I'm a racist. I'm a white supremacist. I must be a white right wing radical, right wing radical. Oh my God, you're talking about gay people giving you news. Oh no, no, that can't happen. Oh man. But anyway, let's just uh, give you the rundown uh, real quick. Um, it's just a brief video. Uh, right now, uh, Russia came out. Um, they said that if we put uh, Patriot batteries in uh, Ukraine, uh, they're going to hit them. They're going to hit them hard. Uh, in fact, they're threatened uh, with a nuke. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, NATO wants to keep pushing this war forward. I don't think you understand the implications of all of this. Um, so, yeah. And then, of course, uh, a lot of the, some of the NATO countries are, are they're, they're trying to enforce a no-fly zone in uh, Ukraine. They're sending in a lot of hardware and everything. And uh, I, I, I don't think Russia is going to take kindly to all of this. I think that the war is escalating. Uh, uh, more and more Ukrainians are dying, but the proxy war is turning really into a world war. Well, it already is a world war. I mean, let's just call it World War III. And, and most people don't even know what the hell's going on. It just amazes me. I, it blows my mind as we talk about things. Uh, today in the news, uh, DeSantis, uh, by God knows, you know I worship Governor DeSantis here in Florida. Thank God I live in Florida, the free, free, free state of Florida. Um, he's uh, basically uh, saying that, you know, we're probably going to ban the jab. And I got to say the jab because you can't say anything else on YouTube uh, because of um, we're learning a lot about uh, side effects that might take place from the jab. Um, so it's, uh, and, and so they're saying, and, and by the way, I mean, talk about a huge event. I mean, there was like a hundred people in screens behind him and they were talking about relatives and, and children that had adverse effects from the jab, you know, who knows? Um, so that's, that's it for that. I don't want to get banned from YouTube for talking about anything that, uh, they don't, they, they can't allow you to talk about. Uh, what else? So that's the latest. Uh, well, Ukraine, uh, I haven't got the latest news on the battle that's taking place in uh, northern Ukraine. Um, last I saw yesterday was uh, the Russians were, um, well, the, the Ukrainians, uh, I can't remember, what is it, the 93rd? Anyway, they were retreating, uh, pulling out. Um, so it looks like uh, Russia was going to take that as a strategic point uh, for um, resupply. Uh, I just hope it stays conventional. I don't want it to go nuclear, um, you know, but uh, NATO wants to keep uh, punching the tiger and they won't negotiate for peace. Uh, on a financial front, uh, let's hit that for just a second. Uh, we're looking at, um, well, obviously gold, silver, platinum prices are, have gone way up. I mean, I'm doing extremely well <laughs> because i'm invested in all of those uh not you know well like i got some physical but most of it's in mining stocks and uh of course i, I invested hev heavily in the sprott etfs uh which i encourage you to look at the pslv and uh, a couple of those uh 
doing extremely well. I mean, I, I'm making money hand over fist. So, you know, you do what you want. Um, now, will I be selling those? Uh, oh, well, that's another thing. It's tax season, people. It's tax season. You got to think about it. I, I finally, I, I, and I don't know why, my tax person, all I wanted, to, it's funny. Until you get face to face with somebody, you don't get the information that you need. And, and I asked her, I said, look, I just want to know how much money I can withdraw from my IRA uh, as a disabled uh, lunatic, as my wife would call me, or my ex-wife, excuse me, um, from my IRA. And, uh, and so I actually had to travel physically to her office. And then we sat down and she just looks on the computer and she goes, well, you can withdraw up to 10000 and not incur a huge tax penalty. And that's something that you got to be thinking about. I don't know what your age is, uh, but you, you need to be pulling those funds out. And if you're invested uh, in like, you know, mutual funds, especially get the hell out of BlackRock. Oh, my God. Get the hell out of Wells Fargo. Get the hell out of, well, I mean, J.P. Morgan Chase, I think they're probably a safe place to be. I, I Hell, they're just pay practically the government <laughs> at this point. But, but Wells Fargo, definitely, you know, I've done a video on that back. Uh, that is one of the most corrupt banks now. Whether they, and, and, and by the way, I did get a great comment from one of my... Um, um, uh, subscribers on the channel and he said there's no way that J Wells Fargo can go down uh, because they are considered uh, you know um, by the government like we saw in 2008 an institution that that can't be allowed to die okay I, I would say the same maybe for Lehman Brothers or um, or Bear Stern uh, they were allowed to die but you know, I, I can see his point, but then he then he went on in the comment to say they're the most corrupt institution he's ever seen. I mean, <laughs> like, okay, so so you you're saying that the most corrupt institution you've ever seen. Um, anyway, I mean, it's just a, it's just a crazy world. I'm, my brain is just kind of going around uh, with the news. Uh, We've talked about Ukraine. Um, oh, by the way, Indonesia has joined on. Uh, that's by the way, Indonesia. If you didn't know, their population um, is bigger than the United States, and they just signed in with China and Russia. So you can see how the world. Uh, basically, about eighty-five percent of the world is aligning against the Western powers. Uh, so Europe, uh, United States. Uh, you know where we've had our uh, uh, global hegemony. Um, so. So and they're and they're divesting themselves of dollars as fast as they can. So I'm encouraging you, uh, if you don't own assets of some sort, I don't care if you buy oil. Uh, I buy in maybe to some oil companies. Uh, um, Canada, oh, that's some other another news. Uh, Alberta and a couple of the central provinces in Canada have uh, aligned themselves against the federal government. So maybe Trudeau might go down at some point. Uh, let's let's pray. I mean that that son of a gun uh, he he needs to go and uh and so so does our federal government here in the united states but uh i don't know i don't know where that's gonna go uh dang gone and i had i had another one in my mind oh yeah texas uh let's talk about texas they uh they've sent the national guard down to the border and they're, they're bringing in the artillery at this point and uh they've got some you know you gotta understand states that's why the our founding fathers set the states up the way they did is that uh, the, the states actually have military equipment and uh, florida sending it down to the border they've actually declared it governor abbott has declared it an invasion and uh, i think that's great uh, I, I hope that they can uh, help secure that border a little bit uh, Carrie Lake, uh, let's talk about that. Uh, she's got a hell of a lawsuit going. And uh, if you ever watch Robert Barnes, uh, he's a, a hell of a brilliant mind. I mean, I, I tell you, if I ever get in um, into uh, political, well, political or uh, law trouble, I'd, I'd want that guy representing me. But anyway, he's saying she's got a good case. Uh, I don't think that the courts are going to say no standing on this uh, case that she's brought against what happened in Maricopa County. And uh, you probably haven't followed that whole thing, but, uh, um, well, I mean, Katie Hobbs, if you want to, she, she was the Secretary of State running the election as she was running against Carrie Lake. I, I, you know, and she didn't recuse herself. Uh, what do you think about that? Huh? A Democrat that doesn't recuse themselves running the election. Kind of weird. That's it, man. Just want to put up a brief video. I, the things I'm seeing, I, like I said, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't wake up till 3.30 in the afternoon after that hike yesterday. Uh, 
I guess my body was just destroyed. And uh, but that's what I got to do. You know, I got to get out each day and uh, just destroy myself. And uh, I am getting better. Um, got a little bit more feeling in this finger here. Uh, got a little bit more feeling in this hand. In fact, I'm, I'm almost ready to think that I can actually get out and hold a golf club. Um, I'm not been haven't been ready to try because I've been basically focused on just uh, dealing with the divorce and the broken neck and my medical problems. And oh, and by the way, I'm trying this. Uh, I'll let you know how it goes. I'm trying this KC Kinetics. Uh, it's supposed to be a new uh, nerve regenerative technology. Uh, in fact, I go in tomorrow at 4.45 for an appointment, and uh, we'll see how that goes. And, uh, you know, who knows? I mean, I'm, I'm willing to try everything. And uh, I don't know. I was kind of skeptical because the advertisement said that if I went in for an evaluation, it was going to be free. And then they charged me $65, and they said they could bill it to Medicare. Um, I don't know. Is it, is it a scam? I guess we'll find out and, and we can all get scammed in life. And, and so that's what I'm telling you is you got to watch the world. You got to pay attention. You got to keep on top of everything as best as possible. You can't just sit and watch movies and, you know, go through, you know, work your job, come home, eat dinner, go to bed and wake up the next day and do the same. No, I'm sorry, man. You got to dedicate whether it's one hour or two hours or whatever to what's going on in the world because it's going to affect you. Uh, we got some major uh problems i mean the dollar's going down the supply chain's going down the housing market's going down the stock market's going to crash peace out stay free and it's good 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 to live in the free 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 state of florida <clears throat>